David? What are you doing? Come on. Just take a step back. You wouldn't want to, you know, slip or something. Come over here. Or are you afraid of me too? I know the rest of them are. Right? I'm a lot more afraid of falling. And I'm even more afraid of landing. There's nothing to be afraid of. It'd be over in an instant. My wife, Javi. My son. They look at me differently. Maybe you're seeing them differently. I want to show you something. Stand with me. Why the hell are you smiling? See that sewer line over there? Perfect placement for a trench. That hill about a hundred paces west of it. Sniper's wildest dream come true. I'm a soldier, Javi. I see this landscape like a painter sees a blank canvas. Like how you used to see a baseball diamond. I'm a soldier. This makes sense to me. I was made for this. I thrive in this. Maybe it's crazy. But sometimes crazy things make sense. If only a little. I'm surprised you understand. A soldier isn't a husband. Or a father. A soldier is a soldier. Nothing else. Nothing. Nothing at all. Call yourself whatever you want. I still see you as my brother. That is kind of you to say, Javi. I wish... I wish I had your heart sometimes. I want to change, Javi. I always have. Really? All you ever tried to do was get me to change. <sighs> Only because I couldn't bring myself to do it first. It's the one war I could never win. And I'm wondering why. Is it because I don't know how? Or because it's impossible to change who you really are? There's a way. There always is. No matter how lost you are. You just have to keep looking until you find it. Looks pretty messy. For now. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Just gotta live long enough to find out. Just like with anything else. I did what you asked. You did. Thanks for that. So now, will you step back? <laughs> sure. I found them! They're up here! Be careful, Javi. I ran into... <sighs> she was still outside when we checked on the entrances. There are muertos everywhere. We got her inside just in time. Seriously, I've never seen so many muertos. Oh, it's awful out there. <sighs> well, this won't be awkward whatsoever. Ava, uh, about earlier. I guess I owe you an explanation about what happened on the stage with Joan and Tripp. You don't have to say anything to me. Your actions said plenty. I read you loud and clear, but go ahead and say whatever you want. Hey, don't get mad at me. It was a total no-win scenario. Just be glad the situation was what it was. And that she didn't make me pick between you and your brother. There's so many. They're pouring in. <sighs> you don't know the half of it. The herd has taken over Richmond. The streets are filled with walkers. With that hole in the wall, this city is fucked. We're not safe here. No one is. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck have we done? So what do we do? I don't want to die up here. None of us do, Gabe. Stabilize the city. Figure out how to make it safer for everyone. I saw construction vehicles when we got the armored truck. 
We can use those to stop the Muertos, seal the breach, and save Richmond. That's over by the motor pool at the water tower. We could use the highway overpass to get to the water tower. Come on. Let's jump. <sighs> Come on, it's an easy jump. <clears throat> Keep your eyes open, stay aware of your surroundings, all of you. Let's move out. When we found Kate earlier, she hugged you. Why do you think she hugged you? Why was that? Just wondering. That can only mean one thing. She likes me more. Not a great time to joke around, Avi. up here or else the exact same thing will happen to us. Stay sharp and do not fire your guns. We're gonna be fine. That guy was all alone. We're not. Everyone hold back. Let Hobby and I clear out these walkers. Move. You okay, bud? When I was little, Dad used to ask me what I wanted to be when I was a man. And I pointed him. He always liked that. I thought he was such a great guy. It would always make him smile, every time. David may not be perfect, but he's not the worst role model in the world. <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> Never be like your uncle. He told me that all the time. Don't be a man who relies on other people to solve your problems. Because then you're not a man at all. I used to think he was right. Not anymore though, Javi. I can only hope I grow up to be like you. So, here's hoping. I hate to admit it, but the guy may have had a point. I screwed up pretty badly, buddy. So what? You bounced back. Dad was wrong. Took such good care of me. Now we need to take care of Dad. He's the one that needs our help. We're gonna have to go around the side. There's barely any room. <sighs> well, no time to waste. Come on. You know, I didn't think there was much that could scare me anymore. And yet, here we are. Just goes to show you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Life is full of surprises. Fear is the coffee of emotions. That wakes you up, keeps you sharp. It can be a friend if you let it. Damn it, no! 
I'm sorry, man. I know she was important to you. I would have died a long time ago without her. Thank you, Ava. Goodbye, my friend. We have to get across. I know Gabe doesn't see it, but David really is trying to look out for him. He's not doing the best job, but no one gives you a rule book to raise a kid. And they sure as shit don't. It's just one thing I don't get, though. Did David really think he was helping AJ by letting him go? Why did he stop guarding him? Maybe you should ask him that. It might be that he just didn't care. Not everyone's like you, Clem. Not everyone wants to take care of a baby. I guess not, but after you put in all that work, so much of your heart... AJ was a brat. He lived with me after we kicked you out, Clem. I had already raised two kids. Thought it'd be a piece of cake. <laughs> not with that tyrant. Is that why you gave him away? We had a bad winter. Destroyed every crop we had. I couldn't leave Richmond. And AJ couldn't stay in Richmond. I gave AJ to Lingard and told him to do whatever he had to to save his life. I miss that breath. Never asked Lingard about it again. Though I wanted to. Well, sounds like it was your only option. You did the right thing. I hope so. I think about it. Every day. It wasn't easy, Clem. Remember, far as I knew, I'd already lost two children. It wasn't any easier with number three. It's never easy. I'm gonna keep you alive. Keep all of us alive. And hope that that's enough. Enough for atonement. Huh. He was a brat, huh? A goofy little brat. You were trying to take care of him. Sometimes that's not so easy. Reminds me of someone who did the same thing for me. You did the right thing. Holy shit. Chopped right in half. No way we're jumping across that. The hell happened here? Well, there's the water tower. Not too far away. thinking it's that or go back we should go lightest to heaviest that way it won't break on the first swing I'll go first Clem get a long run up but not too long if you take too many quick steps you'll propel yourself upward instead of out David He's got this. She's right. I do.
Come on, Clem. Your turn. I do not trust this thing. Not at all. It's one thing for the kids to swing across, but us? You've got this. I've seen you do things that are way scarier. Okay. I can do it. <sighs> all right, David. You're up. You're the little brother. You should go first. Oh, you're definitely lighter. After you. Show me how it's done. Okay. Pay attention. everyone just like we rehearsed I don't know I think we can do better head back over let's try that again enough come on almost there <sighs> 